Ian Murray. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Every single day, another voice is added to the many thousands of organisations, businesses, and people in this country criticising the government for taking the economy off a cliff with a potential No Deal Brexit. Could we have a statement from the appropriate minister on how many critical voices it requires before the government changes policy? Well, I think the honourable gentleman would acknowledge that there was a democratic vote. Um, to decide to leave the European Union. And I think he might also like to celebrate that the economy is 17% bigger uh, uh, over the last eight years since this government came in. The deficit has been cut by three quarters. Income taxes have been cut for 31 million people. And debt will fall as a percentage of GDP next year, so we can spend more on public services instead of debt repayments. This government is getting our economy back on track at the same time as fulfilling the democratic will of the people and it is absolutely our intention to depart from the EU in a way that works for the United Kingdom and for our EU friends and neighbours.